First of all, we wanted to say thank you all very much. We just hit 750 subscribers. Hooray! Hooray! Our last video, you guys must like us yard selling because we had under 3,500 views in a week. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for telling thank your friends. You. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's incredible to be doing what we're doing. So subscribe, please. Let's race to a thousand. Let's just get there and put it behind us and just keep this yard sale and, and expensive game collecting going. And I would like to say that at, once we hit a thousand, uh, maybe we can do some mini game room tours. We'll finally do the game room tour. Yes. Once we hit a thousand subscribers. So stay tuned. Check out the yard sailing. Yeah, it was, it was a dollar. Okay. You guys have any, anything else, like anything older, like old Nintendo or Game Boy or anything you're selling? Or Wii? Okay. We didn't know we were going to have a garage sale, so we took some stuff to Goodwill and we're like, dang it, because we had an uh, old, this is the old um, Xbox. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Any 3DSs or DS lights or nope. anything like that? The handheld games? Nope. Okay. Oh, I got it. Dog got that one. Yeah, here, let me have <laughs> Yeah, look, he got this one too, but he didn't get the disc. He didn't get the disc, yeah, <laughs> that helps. We, I actually played both of those games. They're actually really, really fun. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I'll yeah, take these for Okay. And that one is gone. Yeah, I just, I just went for it. Yeah. Awesome. I know. That's a cool lamp. Oh, that's super cool. How much is this? That one is 10. Okay. It works fine. Yeah. I can plug it in if you like. Oh, yeah. It's 20. 20? Yeah. Everything's there. It's just that my son moved to California and we don't use it. Yeah. I just asked your husband if he had any more video games. I think he's going to so. Awesome. Do you know if you had any handheld like Game Boy or DS? Yeah, something like this. Nope, oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. <laughs> You're keeping those, you said? Yeah. Well, it's because it has also pictures, and I guess, I don't know. Oh. Just, so we're just holding on to them. And they'll yeah. be worth some money someday. There you go, yeah. For sure. I'm going to try this. That one's good. Okay. How much is your wagon? Yeah, it's a box. The wagon is for the box. Yeah, bring the phone. I told her that. How much is it? I don't know. I don't know if any of these. This is just some old school games. Oh yeah. So um, twenty. I think it's in a few of these. Thank you so uh, much. Is there oh. stuff in the binder? Yeah. Yeah. There's some. They, these are like older ones. Yeah. That's even we like the really old stuff yeah. as well. Probably get that that doom in the middle. And your your do you have any PlayStation 2 games or PlayStation 1? You know what? I do got some. I have a whole binder of them, yeah. but they're like all the NCAAs and the yeah. Madden, like the old school ones, and mm -hmm. those I think I want to hold on to. Okay. okay. I know those yep. are kind of hard to find. <laughs> so what would you do for these? The scoops, the system? Um... Hey babe, your PlayStation? She said yeah, 20. Yeah, I told him 20. Yeah. What about for everything? You want to do like so 30? So, how much are you selling your game for? I was going to say maybe 5 bucks. So 5 bucks for the game. 20. And then these were $2. Yeah. So 30? Yeah. Seems good? Okay. Yeah. Something yeah, I do got some, uh, oops. Because okay. my boys even got some of the old school game game uh, things yeah yeah those but are our favorite. i don't know where it's all at because so i got a lot of stuff boxed up that i we have i haven't even sorted out my garage yet. oh okay but we're just this is all her stuff that she's trying to sell i'm not really well get it. what we could do is we can give you our number if you find them you can shoot us next because we live pretty close yeah yeah and then I know, like, I've seen, like, the NCAA games and all that, you know? Yeah. I've seen those, like, how collectible they are now. Oh, it's yeah. It's so hard to find the actual disc itself. Yeah. yeah. Well, we really like the handheld systems. We're trying to That's go for favorite. a complete collection on, yeah. like, 
the Game DS lights, Game Boys, yeah. like all the colors, all the variations and whatnot. Yeah, I think I had a blue one and... Uh, of the SP, probably. Yeah, it was the SP. Yeah. Then uh, we even had the Game Boys, but I don't know if I still have those. Because I kind of almost kept everything. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, we'll give you our number and then yeah, you can that's fine. Yeah. give us a call. My number is... Uh, and you want to take it? Yeah. Got some post garage sale food. Looks good. So another quick day of yard sailing. Uh, we decided to go back to that community that we were just in uh, yesterday. And uh, we had more games at the same yard sales that they ended up digging up. So the first one we hit was one that we hit yesterday. Said, hey, you got any video games? We didn't realize it was different until we saw the wife who brought out a $5 N64 for us yesterday. And the husband came out with this stack of 360 games and this PS3. It is not the backwards compatible one, which actually is probably good at this point, because if it were, it would probably be broken. Um, but we paid $32 for this stack. There's nothing really amazing in this stack, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, most of this is just trade fodder. Maybe we'll maybe get 10 bucks out of all that. But the PS3, we sh if it works, it doesn't have the power cable, but if it works, we should be able to sell it for I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. Um, we uh, had another yard sale where they had, we asked for games and they brought out a few. Um, and we went with these three, actually we wanted. I wanted a nice clean copy of Need for Seeds Shift and Hot Pursuit. And then got this one just because I don't know, I don't see it very often. But we paid five bucks for those three. And then this one we found was at a yard sale. These were out. They didn't have any other video games to bring out. They were asking a buck each. This game is worth, you know, 30 bucks or so. So uh, that'll be nice to sell. Lego games are always hot. And then Grand Theft Auto V, eh, you know, it's a consistent little seller. So five bucks for all those. And then PS3 was the last one. This was not out at the sale. We just asked some random lady and she's like, you know what, I have a PS3 and we used to use it, but we haven't in a while. So no power supply, uh, really, really clean controller. And uh, we paid 20 bucks total for that. And then we went to the DI real quick and picked up a Pikachu. Yay, it was $2. <laughs> $2. So um, the, the, the best one we got today was this. This was the fire sale. So at least I had to snatch us out from another group of four people that came out of a vehicle ready to buy all the yard sale stuff. So and this was under the, the table underneath the kitchen stuff and the box was there and the system was in there and next to it was a bin of toys and there was this uh, group of people that there was like four of them and they were just grabbing everything and I just, I, I dove and I snatched this. Um, Daniel was up front asking if they had any video games. Uh, the lady that was at the sale um, asked her if she, she had the cables and the controller and they were just strewn out on the table from other people saw this and they took out the controller and they took out the power supply and they took out the paperwork and it was on multiple tables so gathered it all up and then the, the the guy came out and brought a stack of games and they were all yeah mostly more it was basically another stack of stuff like that yeah um but i picked doom out of it and we paid um i mean we got a couple other little things but we paid 20 bucks for the system complete in box and the box is pretty clean honestly it's a little sub faded up front but, but we're keeping it for our collection yeah we're gonna add this to our collection it's sure. almost complete it's missing one of the flaps here but that's that's fine yeah and then i think we could, with the bundle this ended up being like three or four bucks um so we had another couple kitchen things but yeah. 20 bucks for a complete in box ps2 is fantastic i picked up some kitchen things to bundle in yeah but I threw them in the dishwasher. So. Yes, that's where they go, directly into the hot wash. Yes. <laughs> so total paid, this is, we'll call this 23. This was 33, so that's 55, 56. Uh, these were five bucks, so 61. This was three dollars, that's 64. 10. 10, so 74 bucks. That's fantastic. Yeah. So 74 spent and then total value will pop up on the screen here of potential value. Um, 
That being said, we are going to keep that box, obviously, but the rest of it we're going to get rid of. We're going to keep these two. Because those are super clean. Because Daniel loves his racing games I besides do. RPGs, platformers, and Dr. Mario. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a pretty good yard sale day. Uh, just a quick couple hours. That was a crazy day. Yeah. A lot of good finds. Great uh, second day. Can't believe we went to the same yard sale and got more games. Yeah. That Couldn't was, believe it. That's pretty crazy. Not quite as diff good as a $5 N64. Yeah. But pretty sweet yep for sure so as you saw at the beginning we, we got it, it. <laughs> yay <laughs> so I'm gonna tally up right now and show you basically we ended last video with a positive 322 yeah something like that yep and then we spent a uh, couple different amounts at two yard sales since then so we'll deduct that from the total mm -hmm. and then we sold a lot of stuff. So some of the notable stuff that we sold, uh, one of them I'll pop up was the, uh, at the bottom of that $500 tote was a uh, Zippo lighter. Yeah, <laughs> just just a random item at the bottom. Yeah, there. we didn't even realize it until we cleared it all out and uh, it was complete with its box and we sold it for 20 bucks. Yeah. So that was kind of neat. Just, just nice little bonus there that we weren't expecting. Yeah. Uh, that N64 bundle from the $5 N64, we posted a couple of games with it that came with that big $500 bundle, come with games that are worth like $10 or less each. And we posted a couple controllers with it because it had none and we sold it for $125. Bucks. Yeah, so that's two N64s that we've sold. Yeah, and what we've been doing, uh, if you haven't realized it, is we've been cutting out the eBay fee and the amount of shipping and all that and adding that to our total because that's the real number. Yeah. So that was, those two are notable, um, just a lot of good stuff. So we want to get more of those kind of deals any day. We're still selling through some of that stock. Uh, but right now that leaves us after taking out those two yard sale days, that leaves us at a positive after all our eBay sales, this much, I'm going to pop it right up, which is great. We're on our way. So the real question is, what do we do next? Right? Yeah. We, we completed our journey to persona. In no time. Way faster than we had anticipated. If it wasn't for that the offer up lot that we picked up and then two great days of yard sailing, like right afterwards, we had no idea that we were going to get here so quickly. Yeah, and the thing is, is we did end up buying this on eBay, right? Yeah. Um, it it came up to about with with shipping and taxes about five hundred dollars. It's it's super clean. The exact price was four hundred and ninety one dollars. That includes tax, shipping, and the 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 seller packaged it up really Very nicely. Well. Came in a box I, about that big. Yeah, and it was wrapped <laughs> like we that expect. big. Yes. Which was so nice because I, I've. You know, from time to time, I have made some eBay purchases, and like I bought a seventy-dollar loose DS game, and it came in a dollar store envelope. I kid you not, just yeah, <laughs> loose in there. So I really appreciate that the seller totally going to give them positive reviews. Hundred percent, yeah. Took care for that. So we we talked about it. And we said, you know, we need to set the bar higher. So what we're going to do instead is we we want we. We want to do a couple different things. The first thing we want to do is we really would like to buy it locally. Yeah. Right? Whatever we end up buying next, we want it to be at 1UP Games or Fallout. Uh, I mean, 1UP Games is the place I'd love to go if they can get it in. Um, but also, I'd love to be able to find it in the wild. Yeah, absolutely. And it could happen. And we, a $500 game apparently isn't good enough. So what we did is we created a list of about 10 different games that we'd love to find as our next goal. And then if one of them shows up at a local shop, we're gonna go get it and bring you with. And then hopefully we have the mo enough money to do so. And, and what we've discovered while in our short time series collecting is that a lot of these um, RPGs that we want that are um, exclusive, they just continue to rise in value. Now I'm sure yeah. there'll be a, a breaking point you know, when we're we're super old, that everything will go down and decline. Yeah. But I, I think in the next um, couple of decades, it, a lot of these things are going to continue to rise in price. So we'd like to, even though they're expensive as they are now, they're probably going to become even more expensive yep. in the future. So we have made a list of RPGs that are 
console exclusives. And rare and expensive. And really pricey. So we're gonna list um, about 12 of them. I'll pop the images up on them. Uh, some of the biggest heavy hitters would be Panzer Dragoon Saga. That one just keeps going up. Magic Knight Rare, these are Sega Saturn games. Uh, Albert Odyssey, Shining Wisdom, Dragon Force, Shining Force 3, um, and then some on Sega CD we'd love to pick up would be like Potful Mail. Um, I think that's the only real Sega CD one we want. Otherwise, there are some other games uh, that we need for PS1. We have all the expensive PS2 RPGs for the most part that we want. Well, we think so. We'll have to double check. Yeah. But uh, there's a few straggling PS1 RPGs that are, are pricey. They're not as expensive as the those top three that we mentioned. So we want to keep our list open because we want to yeah. get what the, the mom and pop shops have around here and give them... Uh, you know, support their business because yeah, yeah. Even if we don't find it at a mom and pop shop, if we find it at a local offer up deal for reasonable retail, and we can put our hands on it and touch it and See buy it, it <laughs> when it's that expensive, like that's what we prefer to do. Yeah. Um, so the last few on the list would be uh, Lucian's Quest. That one we'd love to find for 3DO. Yep. Big time. Uh, Brigandine, Vandal Hearts, Kodelko, and Dokpon Kingdom. So those are the those are the major RPGs and. So we can't call it Journey to Persona anymore, right? Yeah. So what we're going to be calling it instead is Journey to Gaming Grails. Yeah. And I know it seems like a big list, right? But we really want to do this organically and we want to find it. If we happen to stumble upon a Panzer Dragoon Saga at the yard sale, I want to check that box off. Yeah. Because that is a huge, huge win. Yeah. And if any of the local mom and pop shops and we have the attrition of um you know some of the sales that we've made and we have we have that money in hand that we can check any one of these off the list absolutely so amongst those what do you think are like your top five you'd love to see well so working designs like rpgs are pretty much uh, i so i have we, we already have uh, lunar one and two for ps1 mm -hmm. those are from my childhood yep. so i don't feel like we need the Sega CD or Sega Saturn one. Sorry if I'm mixing them up, but the Sega Saturn, Sega CD Lunars. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, really need those. I don't necessarily need them, but I know that working design RPGs are fantastic, and for some reason, the ones that are on the Sega systems have just stayed on the Sega systems. We haven't been very. We're not big Sega fans. Well, it, it's not necessarily that, for me in particular, it's not that I wasn't a fan. It's not what I grew up with. Same. Yeah. We, we were experience. a Sony household and a little bit of Nintendo, not super big into Nintendo. Like, we had a Super Nintendo, and then we had a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation 2. And, exactly. Yeah. So, um, so, so working the working designs, design games is what I'm most excited about. Which is like Magic Knight Ray Earth, Albert Odyssey, I think. And I think um, maybe Shining Wisdom. I think Shin yeah, I think Shining Wisdom is one as well. In you know, like Panzer Dragoon Saga is cool, but honestly, I think Magic Knight Rare Earth would be like my favorite one to find next. That'd yeah. be sweet. Or um, Albert Al Odyssey. Al Albert Odyssey looks really good too. Yeah. Um, and Potful Mail, obviously, which is challenging. And you know, some people could call it not an RPG, more of a side scroller. But you know what? I, we want it. Yeah. It'd be great. Yeah. So yeah, that's some of our favorites. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to take you along the journey and hopefully keep selling stuff and uh, keep moving along, keep yard sailing, keep finding great offer up deals. And uh, we're going to do this journey to gaming grills together. Absolutely. So make sure if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you like what we're doing, if you want to keep track of the, the chase for the expensive games, uh, hit the bell notification, you'll know when we post a new video. We tend to only post on Sundays unless something really cool comes up midweek that yeah. we want to do a quick short on. Um, we Again, we work full-time, so it's kind of hard to do it that often. Yeah, we, we both have full-time jobs, and they have nothing to do with our hobby on the side. Pretty much at all. Um, so, like if you like what we're doing, uh, make sure to comment below which of these do you think we should uh, keep our eyes open for the most first. And uh, remember, until then... When you're hunting for your most expensive games that you could possibly add to your collection with your significant other, that is why the couple plays together. Stays, stays together. together. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.